U.S. Air Force unveils first test of arsenal plane concept and nuclear munition. The U.S. Air Force conducted a test earlier this year of a palletized munition concept to launch new standoff precision-guided munitions from its airlifters, allowing the service to relatively quickly turn them into weapons trucks, as necessary. This has also prompted important discussions within the service about command and control issues and other operational considerations that would be involved when rapidly shifting cargo aircraft into a strike role. The Air Force Research Laboratory AFRL, revealed the test, which took place at Dugway Proving Ground in Utah on January 28, 2020 in cooperation with Air Force Special Operations Command AFSOC, in a press release on May 27, 2020. Air Force Major General Clinton Hynode, the Deputy Director of the Air Force Warfighting Integration Capability UFWIC, office, offered additional details about the project during an online chat that the Air Force Association's Mitchell Institute hosted on the same day. This successful, demonstration, is evidence of our commitment to evolve innovative weapons concepts and enhance our partnership with AFSOC to meet the needs of the National Defense Strategy, Air Force Colonel Gary Haas, head of AFRL's Munitions Directorate, said in the May 27th press release. Cleaver represents a different approach to launching large numbers of long-range weapons, which will bring a new dynamic to the high-end fight. Cleaver stands for Cargo Launch Expendable Air Vehicles with Extended Range and the Air Force has described this previously unseen air-launched munition as an unpowered long-range, high-precision weapons to destroy moving and non-moving targets. There are already plans for additional demonstrations involving more cleavers, as well as powered vehicles, and full-up vehicles with optional warhead and terminal guidance, according to AFRL. Some sort of powered weapon, such as a cruise missile, would give an aircraft employing the palletized munitions concept true standoff range, something that would be very important in a major conflict against a near-peer adversary with a capable integrated air defense network. It would also drastically complicate an enemy's defense planning. AFRL's description of the warhead and guidance systems as optional also points to Cleaver being a modular design. If true, this might mean it could potentially accommodate other payloads, including non-kinetic ones, such as electronic warfare jammers. AFRL's press release also mentioned an ultimate goal to utilize a palletized munition system to deploy a swarm of network-enabled, semi-autonomous weapons that accompanies remotely piloted aircraft and fighter jets in combat missions. The Air Force has already been working for a number of years on networked munitions concepts as part of the now-canceled Grey Wolf program in the current Golden Hornet.